Elvis can fetch up to 300 pounds per kilo, so a very good night's catch can be worth several thousand pounds. Fishermen like Richard have to take extreme care to keep their fishing spots secret due to an increasing number of illegal poachers trying to muscle in. You know, Alvarez is not all about, you know, it's not all about earning money. No, no, no. It's a way of life, you know. Historically, it was never perceived as a delicacy. No, no. It was an important source of protein for poor people. Yeah. The aristocracy owned and the landowners owned the salmon fishing and the sea yeah. fishing. The poor own the alvarin. The alvarin, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Chefs look forward to it yeah, yeah. every year. Uh, each and every year it's getting harder to find them, yeah. more expensive to buy them. Alvars are so rare that fishing them is controlled heavily by the Environment Agency. I've been granted a licence. Oh, there's some in there. Gordon, you've caught your first four alvars. Four alvars, fucking hell. Honestly, I can't believe the size of the fucking net for four small alvars. Christ <laughs> almighty. <laughs> These incredible creatures are carried in the Gulf Stream thousands of miles to the UK, all the way from the North Atlantic Sargasso Sea. Those that aren't caught will one day make an attempt at a return journey in order to breed. Fucking hell, I mean, this is a labour of love, you know that. Well, that's fucking four more. That's four <laughs> plus five, that's nine. <laughs> Fuck me. They look like giant sperm. <laughs> Just under an hour for basically 35 fucking elvers. They're pretty gruesome in terms of uh, look, presentation. Flavor-wise, they are fucking delicious. I'm catching so few elvers for my efforts. Thankfully, Richard gets the call from one of the network of his trusted friends, also fishing out on the Severn, giving him details of a potential shoal further up the river. That wasn't the most fantastic spot. No, that was a disappointing start. Yeah? yeah. Half 12 at night, so where are we going now? We're going to go to an area called The Stank. The eight-week window for catching elvers is extremely small, which explains why competition is fierce and information on where to catch them is kept secret. This is like an undercover network here. It is. We all have people that we speak to. It's like governed by the fucking mafiosa. It fucking is. Are there areas where you won't fish on? Uh, there are areas where I would be very nervous to go, yeah. Serious? Yeah. I'm beginning to understand yeah. how territorial and competitive fishing for elvers is. It's clear we're not the only ones receiving tip-offs, so in order to divert unwanted attention, we go dark. Do you know him? I don't know him, no. It's fucking extraordinary, this. We've been followed now. This. Two of the vehicles coming on board. Is that because they think that we're going to a hot spot? Yeah. And catch him? They think there's fish down here, so they're now following us. Fucking hell. Right, here right, we go. Here we go. What are we going to do if we meet some fucking muscle heads? Hey, and if I'm on somebody else's patch, yeah? You're on your own. Jesus Christ. It's fucking pitch black now. Huh? Do we say good evening to them over there or not? No. No. Don't say anything. How's the fishing going, guys? Fuck's sake. They're worse than chefs. Hey, they don't talk to us. Fucking hell. That's not too bad, that. I mean, I know it's a delicacy and, yeah, totally fucking get it. But Jesus Christ, it's an extraordinary amount of work. They don't come for free, do they? We've been at it now for nearly two hours, and look. Fucking hell. Thank fuck they're delicious, you know that? Go on, you bastards. Jump in there. That's better. No? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's not bad, bad, is it? A move up river starts to pay off as my catch becomes much more respectable. Put it this way, we're getting there anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. Uh, so somebody would be glad of that for a feed. Yeah. There's a lot of back work, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 